Welcome to Crafty Crochet Castle. In this video, I'm going to show you the pattern to crochet these hot photo frame wall hangings. You can complete it as one frame or you can add as many hot frames as you would prefer and complete it as a wall hanging. These are the materials required to complete this photo heart frame wall hanging i'm using yarn this is red heart super saver worsted bait for yarn you can use any yarn as per your preference and i'm using a 4.5 mm crochet hook scissors blunted needle to crochet the hearts to complete it as a wall hanging we would need 1.5 mm crochet hook and beads i'm using artificial pearls here you can substitute this with any jewelry beads as per your preference First, let's work on the frame side of the heart. So I'm taking my pink color yarn. I'll start off with a slip knot and chain 15. To do a chain, I'm going to yarn over and pull through this loop. There I have my first chain. In this manner, I'm going to make 14 more chains. So now I have a total of 15 chains. I'm going to slip stitch to the first stitch over here to form a ring. While doing this, make sure you do not twist the chain that we just made. So now we have formed a ring. It is in this ring. We are going to work on the heart shape. And this ring will act as a photo frame. So let's start working on row 2. For this row, I'll be doing a slip stitch on the next stitch. So now I'll do chain 2, followed by one double crochet into this ring. To do a double crochet, I'll yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over and pull through. Now I'll have a total of 3 loops on my hook. I'll yarn over, I'll pull through 2 loops. Now I'll have two loops remaining on my hook. I'll yarn over and pull through both the loops. Here I have my first double crochet. I will do one more double crochet into this ring. Next I'll be doing three triple crochet in this ring. To do a triple crochet, I'll yarn over two times. Insert my hook, yarn over and pull through. Now I'll have a total of four loops on my hook. I'll yarn over and pull through two loops. I'll have three loops remaining. Yarn over and I'll pull through two loops. And I'll have two loops remaining. Now I'll yarn over and pull through both the loops. This is my triple crochet stitch. I'll do two more triple crochet in this ring. Next, I will do two double crochet into this ring. Next, I'll be doing seven half double crochet in this ring. To do a half double crochet, I'll yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over and pull through. I will have three loops on my hook. I'll yarn over and pull through all three loops. This is my half double crochet. I'll do six more half double crochet in this ring. Now I'll do one double crochet and a chain one. So we have formed one side of the heart. I'm going to repeat the other side with the same patterns but in the other way around. So I will start off with a double crochet. Seven half double crochet. So if you see you do not have enough space to work over here, you can always push back the stitches and begin your work. Because we worked in the ring, it's easy for us to adjust the stitches. So next I'll be doing two double crochets into the ring. Next I'll be doing three triple crochets.
two double crochets chain two and I will slip stitch in this stitch we are not slip stitching into the ring we are slip stitching in the stitch so that the heart will stay in place and you can finish off over here leaving a tail now we can weave in this tail so I've thread this in a blunt tip needle and I'm going to weave it in if you have some gaps in the heart over here it is this time you can stitch them together before weaving it in now let's work on the back side of the photo frame i'll start off with a magic circle i will do chain two and i will work 16 triple crochet in this ring After completing 16 triple crochet, I'm going to join at the top of this chain 2 that we did earlier using a slip stitch. There are two ways to complete this crochet photo heart. If you would like to add many photo frames in a wall hanging, I would finish off over here for all the heart except the first one. And for the very first frame, I would do chain 15 and form a loop so that we can use that to hang it in the wall. You can leave this loop to be bigger or smaller as per your preference and slip stitch on the same stitch over here. I will do a slip stitch in the next stitch as well and finish off leaving a long tail. So now we have completed the back side of the crochet photo heart. To assemble these two pieces together, I have thread the long tail from the back side in a blunt tip needle and I'm going to take the front side and the back side and I'm going to place both the wrong sides together. One thing to be noted is that we have not finished the back side in the same pattern as the front side so we won't get a perfect heart over here so for initial stitches we'll be using the loops to secure the front side and the back side together we can start stitching up the back loops of both the pieces together Again, in this side, I'm going to pick up the loops to sew and attach this together. Now I'm going to leave a tiny opening for us to insert our photos and I'm going to finish off over here and weave in this tail. So here I have two photo frames, one with a loop on top, one without the loop. So I'm going to show you how to complete this as a vertical wall hanging. You can have as many as hearts as you would like. Always remember the heart on the top should have the loop and the remaining hearts can be without the loop. So to start off. I'm taking the yarn and a 4.5 mm crochet hook. I'm going to take the very top photo frame heart with a loop. I'm going to turn it and I'm going to attach the loop to the back side over here. To attach, I'm going to do a slip knot. I'm going to insert my hook through the stitch over here. I'm going to do yarn over and pull through the stitch and the loop. Now I'm going to do chain one and begin attaching the pearls. To attach them, I'm gonna use a smaller hook. This is 1.5 mm crochet hook and I'm gonna take the pearl and I'm going to put it inside the hook over here. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the hook into the loop over here and I'm going to yarn over and pull the loop through the bead. So there I have 
the bead inside the loop now i'm going to do yarn over and pull through to secure this bead using crochet so i'm going to attach two more beads in this manner So there I have crocheted three beads into this heart. Now I'm going to change my hook to my 4.5 mm crochet hook. So this is how the heart looks with the beads on the bottom. You can do as many as beads as you would like or if you just prefer to keep it simple you can just do chains and attach the other heart. So now I'm going to take my second heart. I'm going to turn to the back and I'm going to do a slip stitch over here. Now I'm going to finish off over here and I'm going to weave the tail in. So now if you see we have attached the two hearts together. You can go ahead and attach more hearts in this manner. I'm going to show you how to finish the last heart. To finish the last heart, I'm going to take the same color yarn and I'm going to attach it to the back side at the bottom over here. So there I have attached. Now I'm going to do chain one and I'm going to attach three beads in the same manner like how we did earlier. So now I have secured the beads over here. I'm going to do a chain one and finish off over here leaving a tail. So now I'm going to attach tassels to this end. To attach tassels I'm taking equal length of strips of yarn and I'm going to attach it through the last loop. So here I have completed the wall hanging and weaved in all the ends. You can also finish this with a single heart. Please support by subscribing to my channel. Your feedbacks are appreciated. Thank you for watching.